U.S. allies among Arab states urging Donald Trump to reconsider Jerusalem move. 22 Arab states including close U.S. allies have urged Donald Trump to reconsider a dangerous decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The Arab League warned the move deepens tension, ignites anger and threatens to plunge region into more violence and chaos. In a strongly critical statement issued following an emergency meeting attended by the foreign ministers of each member nation. The White House announcement about Jerusalem this week overturned decades of U.S. neutrality on one of the Middle East's most sensitive issues, sparking violence in Gaza and protests elsewhere in the region. The U.S. president's endorsement of Israel's claim to all of Jerusalem as its capital reverses Washington's stance that the city's status must be decided in negotiations with the Palestinians who want East Jerusalem as the capital of their future state. The Arab League statement described the decision as a dangerous violation of international law which had no legal impact and was void. It said it would seek a United Nations Security Council resolution rejecting the U.S. move. The decision has no legal effect. It deepens tension, ignites anger and threatens to plunge region into more violence and chaos. The statement issued at 3 a.m. local time after hours of meetings that began on Saturday evening in Cairo. Lebanon's foreign minister Gabrin Basel suggested Arab nations should also consider imposing economic sanctions against the United States to prevent it moving its Israel embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. Preemptive measures must be taken. Beginning with diplomatic measures, then political, then economic and financial sanctions, he said. But the Arab League statement made no mention of economic sanctions and included no other punitive actions against the U.S., such as a boycott of American products or downgrading of ties with Washington. Arab criticism of Mr. Trump's plan contrasted sharply with the praise Washington's traditional Arab allies heaped on him at the beginning of his administration in January. Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Jordan have each issued individual statements criticizing the Jerusalem decision. This step represents a big bias against the historic rights of the Palestinians and a big regression in the efforts to push the peace process forward, said the Saudi royal court in a statement to Al Jazeera. It is a violation of the American neutral position towards Jerusalem. A Jordanian government spokesman, Muhammad al-Mamani, said the U.S. move was false and illegal because it consolidates the occupation. About 10,000 people rallied on Sunday outside the U.S. Embassy in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta to denounce Mr. Trump's announcement. Demonstrators carried banners reading, U.S. Embassy, Get out from Al-Quds, Free Jerusalem and Palestinians, and We are with the Palestinians. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has strongly condemned the U.S. announcement, which he described as a violation of U.N. resolutions. Meanwhile, Israel's defense minister called for a boycott of Arab businesses in an area where their rights following the Jerusalem decision. Avigdor Lieberman said the Arabs of Wadiara, in northern Israel were not part of us and Jewish Israelis should no longer visit their villages and buy their products. He spoke to army radio after hundreds of Israeli Arabs protested on Saturday along a major road, with dozens of masked riders hurling stones at bus and police vehicles. Three Israeli people were wounded and several vehicles damaged. The protests were part of a Palestinian day of rage following Mr. Trump's announcement. Israeli airstrikes killed two Palestinian gunmen on Saturday after militants fired rockets from Gaza into Israel on Friday.